Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. This is Kaylee, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool Play-Doh pearl. So follow along if you want to learn how. Let's get started. Okay, the first step is I'm going to use any color of Play-Doh, and here I'm using purple, and I'm just going to roll this out. This is going to be the background shape of our design. And it looks like I need a little bit more Play-Doh to make this thicker. The reason I'm turning it is because I want it to be the same thickness all the way across. And you want your background to be at least as big as your drawing. So that's big enough. I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit more. And I just like to feel the Play-Doh and make sure that it's totally even and that there's no dips or, or marks in it. Feels pretty smooth, so now I'll get some saran wrap and cover it. Now I'll lay the coloring page on top. and use the spinning tool to trace out the design. Don't worry if it's not completely perfect because we can always trim the background later. Okay, and then lift off your coloring sheet. And we'll use this blade tool to cut out our design. Once that's done, we can lift away the excess Play-Doh and Saran Wrap. Now once that's cut out, we can set that to the side. And now I'm going to work on the color of Pearl, which is pink. tracing out pearl again and I'm going to be laying this on top of the purple background and the purple part just makes everything stay together and be more sturdy and then I'll lift that away and go ahead and trace it again with the blade tool I'm just going to lay my pink design on top of the purple background. Okay, now I'm going to use this ball tool to just kind of smooth everything out. And this also helps press the pink part onto the background. Don't worry about the edges right now because I'm going to clean that up in the next step. Now I'll use the blade tool to kind of clean up the edges and cut away the excess purple. By the way, this tool isn't very sharp at all, but it's sharp enough to cut Play-Doh really cleanly and evenly. And you can find all of these tools in the baking section at your local craft store. The next part I'm going to work on is her eyes. And I'm going to use this cookie cutter to cut out two eyes in white. So I'll set this aside and grab some white Play-Doh. Bit 
too thick. So I'll just roll them a little bit thinner. Here I'm just tucking in the edges on the white so that the lines look really clean. black part of her eye, I'm just going to use two little black balls of Play-Doh. There we go. And for her eyebrows, I'm just going to roll out some little black snakes with black Play-Doh. I'll make one more little black squiggle for her mouth. I'm just smoothing that out too. Okay guys, and that's how you make Pearl the Squid from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. If you guys want to see more fun Play-Doh character tutorials like this one, just click on the thumbs up and let me know in the comments who you'd like to see me design next. This is Kaylee from DCTC and thanks for watching.